I'm with the Department of Health and Human Services here at a distribution facility to receive personal protective equipment from the CDC to distribute to the healthcare coalitions in North Carolina. So here at the distribution facility, after we receive the product from the CDC, we organize it and inventory it and distribute it to the healthcare coalitions in North Carolina. So uh, I'm with the North Carolina National Guard J3 Domestic Operations Section. And what we do is we integrate with our partners across the state, so all the other entities that come together to make up the state emergency response team. So our job is to um, provide all of the assets, capabilities that the National Guard can bring to bear to uh, help solve the problems that pop up from the state perspective. Okay, so with COVID-19, we're really focused on the planning, so getting prepared for what our partners term as the medical surge. So how can we support that? We can support that with medical professionals, uh, the, the support that wraps around these sites that they're standing up, so the logistics, the administration. We're also supporting heavily with the distribution of commodities statewide. So uh, the state's bringing in millions and millions of dollars worth of equipment and uh, uh, safety supplies for the medical providers, and we're using our assets to transport that to the warehouses and down to the local level so we can ensure that the responders and healthcare providers have what they need to support. Yeah, so the footprint's pretty large in this event with all the entities come together. Um, state agencies, Department of Health and Human Services, uh, you name it, all the EMS agencies, fire, law enforcement, uh, pretty much if you can think of it as a state agency, we're all together downstairs as a state emergency response team and we're making those decisions as a group. So it, it's no single entity, it really is everybody and it's, it's truly any state agency you can think of. A lot of what we did is a little different this event. So uh, we've brought in specialists that we normally don't bring in. So we're looking at G uh, GIS specialists, we're looking at medical planners, we're looking at um, you know future operations planners, and we've brought them down to our EM partners and really embedded them deeply within their organization to provide them with a capability that augments what they already have. Not, not that it's something new, but rather we bring those capabilities and, and that ability in general from the guard down to them to really help out and make their, uh, their sections and their cells a little bit more robust. The North Carolina National Guard uh, really prepares for all hazards, so our approach has always been all hazards response. So it doesn't matter if it's a hurricane or if it's a storm, it's an ice storm, it doesn't matter. In this case, uh, you know, a, a medical pandemic. We're, we focus on force packaging, and that's being able to package our capabilities into uh, a capability that can support the need. So that, that's our focus in the Guard, and that's what makes us unique. So we have a lot of things, equipment, personnel, specialties that we can bring to bear, and we package that to meet the need. Yeah, I mean, it's exceptional. This is what we do in the Guard, right? We're citizen soldiers. We're, we're a part of the community. We're a part of North Carolina. We are North Carolina, right? So to be a part of the, the ready, reliable team that is the North Carolina National Guard, it's just a phenomenal experience to, to go down and really feel like you're actually helping people out and saving lives.
Thank you. 